my name is Braylon Brooks and I'm here with Singster.tv and we're at the Legacy Series here with Brianna. So tell us about what brings you out tonight. Well, many things. One, I'm friends with Lisa Hayes, who uh, is the founder of the Legacy Series Gala. Last year I ended up singing at it, this year I'll be speaking at it. Wow. Um, and also, faceted Yes, and my nonprofit is uh, is the New Hollywood and so uh, she's involved in, in that organization and it's all about women coming together to support each other in their personal and professional goals as well as giving back. So just really, um, it's very parallel in, in her Legacy Series, wanting to share people's legacies and what we do is really wanting to inspire people to rise higher and shine brighter and give back. Right, and, and, go, and do what you gotta do to make it happen, right? Yeah, but do do what you have to do with authenticity and yeah. being a be good of service. person and be of service and, you know, give give to others, you know, instead of being in a state of fear and thinking that other people will take away from what you've created or what you're capable of creating. So, has anyone but, uh, besides friends, like, has anything happened to you personally, like, like as a child growing up, that makes you so passionate about giving back in this particular way? Uh, well, I grew up, my grandparents actually formed a 100% volunteer-based branch of the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill. Mm -hmm. So I saw that growing up. And then when I came out to Los Angeles, it was hard for me to find like-minded people, especially being an actress. <laughs> like-minded people. <laughs> it was hard. It took a minute to find my tribe. And um, and once I did, I just kind of started like latching on to people. Like, you're, like, you're, we're exactly. of the same mind. Like, you, and it was hard for yeah. me to find people that were excited for my wins yeah. and, and that also there for me in my life. Lows, and that I could be, you know, the same. I could mirror that for them as well. And so we ended up, you know, finding people. And it started off as a goal group, and then we started just giving back and doing charity work. And I just feel like that's that's just a better way to live. Yeah, it is. I feel like you're a very empowering person. Being by what you said is like never settle out of fear and just do what you have to do to make it happen. And having like-minded souls around you that help want to uplift and build you and encourage you to do better and vice versa. So to somebody out there who may be in a situation in a rut or who's in a pun with people around them that are not as encouraging, like what advice, like what are the top three things you could give to someone for encouraging them to, you know, possibly get on the right path as to doing something like kind of like what you're doing, like being encouraging and being more Right, putting right, that right. bare foot forward to like make things happen for themselves. I feel like one of the things... that made any sense. <laughs> yes, I, uh, it did. Um, actually, um, I feel like one of the main things that I've really uh, learned, I feel like I knew it before in my head, but I didn't really, well, it didn't totally sit in my body, was really trusting that when things fall apart, to learn what you need to learn, grieve from it, and then, al and then allow yourself to move forward and be present and be grateful because things are actually falling into place. place exactly. I feel and like and, and really, really knowing that, but I feel like it takes a cup, a lot of times of falling. I'm like, it takes a cup. No, it takes a lot of times of falling lot. down, to and then to sit there and you know, I look back and I thank God for so many unanswered prayers, and I, so I've kind of come to realize at this point in this point in my prayers, um, at, right there, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, I've come to realize at this point in my life that you know if I let go, let God, if I trust what whatever's meant to be, and as you surrender, when I surrender and I'm a good person and I stay on, I stay focused on what I want, but also allow myself to be flexible and to be adaptive, that things fall into place. And when I start paying attention to synchronicity, when I start being staying open and not being in my head about fear, things work out. It's just I think we all are so afraid. Let it be. We let, let it be. I'm not gonna start saying. That that was last legacy gala. You heard it from the one and only Brianna Brown. I'm a BB too. I'm Braylon Brooks. Wonderful. I love it. <laughs> you heard it from the one and only Brianna Brown. That just happened here at the Legacy Series. Thanks for watching.